First Corinthians second chapter, and I'll read verse number nine back until you hear it. But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered to the hearts of men the things that God has in store or prepared for them of those that love him. I want to preach for a little while from the subject. It's already prepared. It's already prepared. Father, we thank you for the visitation of your Holy Spirit. We thank you, God, for yet this preaching opportunity. We thank you for the proclamation of your Holy Word. We thank you for the Holy Spirit, God, that indwells and fills us, God. We praise you and we magnify your name. For you alone are worthy, God, for we realize, God, that you are God and beside you there is no other. Now, Father, we yield ourselves to you. We yield our memories to you and say, use us as a tool. Use us as an instrument in your hand, God. Speak through us as we speak to your people. As we transition from one year to another, we know, God, that you're the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And we bless your holy and righteous name, and we give you praise. Bind the hands of the enemy, God, anything that's not like you that will try to hinder or prevent we plead your blood. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. It's already prepared. The Bible tells us clearly that God has prepared some things for those that love him. The one of the qualification of prerequisites is we got to love the Lord. You see, you can't go from 14 to 15 in the same mindset and trying to accomplish the things of God if you don't love God. If we don't walk in the word and the will and the way of God, we can't expect a difference in 15 if we hadn't changed in 14. You see, a lot of times we, we, we wait for the new year. Oh, the new year. I got a resolution. I got, no, 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 no. But you can have all the resolution you want. But until a transformation take place. Until you make up in your mind, I'm not going to take that old jump from 14 to 15. I'm going to change my mindset. I'm going to change my attitude. I'm going to do it the way God would have me do it. And see, a lot of times people think just because it's a new year, we can go into the new year. But if you take the old stuff into the new year, you're going to have the old stuff in the new year. And the Bible says you can't put new wine in old wine skin. See, something ain't gonna, something that ain't gonna gel, it, it, it can't handle it. It's gonna, it's gonna ferment, it's gonna expand, and, and in the old skin, it don't have the elasticity that it, that allow it to expand. But a lot of times we try to mix and mangle. That's why the scripture says, any man be in Christ, he is a new creature, old things are passed away, and behold, all things become as new. Eyes have not seen. Because what God has in store for them that love, eyes have, it, it hadn't been revealed to humanity. It hadn't been revealed to the eyes of man what God has in store for his people. Eyes have not seen. God is going to do some miraculous, supernatural, and wonderful things for the people of God. Can I get a witness in here? See, 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 we got to understand that, like Roman said, you got to change your mind. He said, he said, be ye not conform. Don't, 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 don't let the world conform you. And that's what happened to a lot of believers. We're being conformed to the world. We're being conformed. We allow the world to shape us and make us into what they want us to be. Instead of us being the blood washed, saved, sanctified soldiers of the arm, in the army of the Lord. Instead of us being the children of God, we, we, we be, we become conformed. We allow the world to shape us like Plato. We allow the world just to mold us and what they, you can't do this no more. You can't, but the word of God say, God words say, I have given you power. I have given you authority in the earth realm. We, we've got the authority of God's word by the power of his Holy Spirit, but we don't exercise it. And if you, if you hadn't exercised it in 14, you better make up in your mind right now, I'm going to exercise it in 15 because I'm expecting some great, some wonderful, and some marvelous things to happen in 15. I can't go into 15 with the old mindset. Is your heart right with God? That you know no matter what comes your way in 15, whether you're up or down, whether you're sideways, you know the Lord got you. You know he's got you in the palm of his hand. You know he will keep you. You know that he's going to provide. You know that he will protect you. 
you can have the mindset of Job said, no, though he slay me, yet would I trust him. No matter what I go through in all my appointed time, I know he's already prepared. I'm going to wait until my, my change, my change, my change, my change is coming, my change, my change is coming, my change, my change is coming. I, I know he's not going to put no more on me. Then I can bear. So if I got it on me, that means I can bear it. And if it's too heavy for me, he said, cast it. Whoa! He said, cast all your cares on me. For I care for you. Take my yoke and learn of me. For my yoke is easy. And my burdens are light. So you're talking about your burden down. That ain't from the Lord. Because the Lord said his burdens are light. He's prepared. It's already settled. It's, it's already done. But we miss because we're not in tune. It's almost like tuning in for a radio station. When you have static in your line, you can't hear what's being transponded, what, what's being said. Because it's so what you say. It's like when you're talking on your cell phone and you get in a bad area. And somebody's talking to you, and you can hear them, but they can't hear you. You say, what you say? You can't hear me? No, I can't hear you. I can hear you good. Huh? You're not in tune. See, God always hears. But see, the thing is, whether you're tuned enough to hear from him, God always hears. But the thing is, whether we're in tune to him, that we can hear. Him in a small, still voice. He's not in the earthquake. He's not in the storm. But he's in that small, still voice. He's in the secret closet. He's in that secret place where you go in and you talk to him. And he, he talks to you. He's prepared a place. See, we all ought to, ought to have a place that we, we, we can tap in. We got to have a place that, 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 that we prepare. The Lord, I, I have set this place aside for, for, for me to have an encounter, a day to day relationship talk with you. We build nice houses. We have room for children. We have room to eat. We have room, the restroom and shower, but we don't have no place for God. But God said, I prepare in my, Jesus said, in my Father's house. A many, he, I've already prepared a place for you. So why we hadn't prepared for him? Why haven't we prepared? So in 14, you need to make up in your mind, so I'm going to be prepared in about eight minutes. I'm crossing over. <laughs> I'm crossing. I'm crossing over to the other side. Why? Because he told me we're going to make it. Just like he told his disciple, he said, get on the boat and go to the other side. And even though a storm broke out in the middle of their travel, the thing he said, they were going to make it to the other side. And see, that's what we got to grab. He's already prepared the end result. We've got the victory. We've got, we won the battle. We're just walking it out. That's why this battle ain't yours. This battle belonged to God. So why are you trying to fight something that belonged to God? Why, why are you trying to fight a battle that God's supposed to fight? Why? He's already prepared. He said when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard. See, God has a standard that the enemy can't overcome. God has a... Whew, when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard. When the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard that will protect you, that will keep you, that will provide, that will, that will cover you with a standard. And that's the blood. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is that flow.
that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. When you begin to give him direction, I want to be counted faithful. So in 2015, Lord, whatever you're going to do, please don't do it without us. Because we love you, we honor you, God, and we praise and we magnify your holy name. Thank you for preparing everything we need. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' name.